Okay, students. So we will continue our previous topic. Now we will do the comparison of the distance time graph and the velocity time graph. And then we will discuss that how can we calculate the distance from speed time or VT graph. Graph number one. When the object is at rest in distance time graph, the line will be a straight one, but it will not start from the origin and this line will be parallel to axis of the time. But for the same scenario, when the object is at rest in the VT graph, the straight line will be on the time axis. Graph number two. The graph number two will represent the object is moving with the uniform speed. So the line will start from the origin and with the constant inclination or slope. While in VT graph, this line will be a straight one above the x-axis and parallel to the x-axis. Now student will do mistake in these two graph. So you have to make really very clear understanding that when the object is at rest in distance time graph, what will be the shape of that graph? When the object is moving with the uniform speed in the VT graph, what will be its shape? Now this, this graph number three, the comparison of the BT and VT graph. Now this graph will represent that the object is moving with the uniform acceleration. While in VT graph, it will represent the object is moving with the uniform acceleration. Slope is constant. Graph number four. Now uniform deceleration for the DT graph. Why deceleration? Because the speed is decreasing. Whenever there is decrease in speed, we will say that there is a uniform deceleration. Then the next one graph, decreasing acceleration. It's not the deceleration. Still the velocity is increasing. We have already discussed that. Now, how can we calculate the distance from the velocity time graph or from the speed time graph? Let's suppose object start from this and I have shape of this graph which is given in the paper or maybe the tabulated values will be given and we will draw. Now he is saying calculate the distance from A to B. The distance from the VT graph is always calculated from the area under the graph. Whatever the shape will be of the shaded region, we will find the area of that particular shape. For example, from A to B, I have shaded this region. Now this region is a triangle. So I will apply the formula. I will get 20 meter. Against that, maybe they will ask that what is the value of the acceleration from A to B or what is the uniform acceleration. So I will apply the formula for the gradient y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 and then I will get the value 10 meter per second. Now distance from B up to C. Now B up to C it is a rectangle. So I, I have written the value from B up to C is 6 while this one is the already 20. So the answer is 120 meter. The acceleration for B to C is 0. What is the reason? You have to write down the reason in the comments why the acceleration from B to C is 0. Now the distance from C to D, again we will get a shape of a triangle. So we will get the 20 meter. And on the other side, now the speed is decreasing. Now this is deceleration. Same formula we will apply, but now we will get the negative side. So the answer is minus 10 meter per second square. In the paper, they will ask what is the total distance travel and what is the average speed. So what we will do, we will calculate the total distance which we have calculated A to B, B up to C and C to D. So it's 160 and then in calculate the average speed, apply the formula total distance over total time. So 160 over 10, we will get 16 meter per second. If this question is directly given that what is the total distance instead of segments. So you can apply the formula <coughs> related with the trapezium. 1 by 2 sum of parallel side and distance between the parallel side. So you will get the same answer 160 meter. So it all depends on the questions. So write down your comments. If you have any confusion, see you next time. Take care.